was saying, look, what time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you were right on. Mm -hmm. With Dr. Chris Totoro and his bride Elizabeth, and I'm also here with Councillor Jeff Bowman. Looks like a fake hive all. That's like a, a small cold. hole only to get in the truth that uh, drones cannot get in. Oh. Okay, they if a drone tries to get in they attack. Yeah, it. so I I just get rid of the mm -hmm. drones and you see them dead down there in the mm -hmm. floor. A lot of drones. Um, the, I have a I have a skunk attacking me the the bees on this side, so I made a board with the nails up. That's a good idea. And uh, just getting rid of the, the skunks. So Chris, each each of those boxes has. Two other or three compartments? Yeah, this is in every one of these boxes you have a frame. Yeah. And then every frame they nest, they put the bomb. So I keep them right now. The, the bees there. Are <laughs> unbelievable. I can show you if you wow. get if we get that against the wrong. You see them suffering. Yeah, because I homosexual see. start to this day. Oh, them. really? Yes. And yeah, and they become and they yeah. become only drones, nothing else. They wow. are no bees, and they don't work. So what I decided, mm -hmm. I took it on the side. I shake all the bees on the side. Yeah. Empty frames, and let the bees return back because the drones are not working. They don't have a GPS system. Right. They don't return to the hive. Oh, where are they? It dies there. Oh. So mm. I put the implant the new queen on place and close the horse. If some drones come together with the bees back, not to be able to get in. Yeah. So we will see that how I did it. And I am waiting and tomorrow I'm going to open them and to let them start working. Yep. So the bee is a queen that you just bought. Hopefully, Hopefully survive. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth they have to accept. Them. Yeah. yeah. Your husband said you're the queen. In this house. <laughs> That's what he said. That means he got She's my queen. One That's right. in the garden. And one here. <laughs> well, it stopped raining, sort of. We may oh, as well yeah, yeah. look at the oh, farm. Yeah. <laughs> These are a lot bigger than when I was here. Well, I'm in the backyard of Chris and Elizabeth's garden. Take a look at the system. They are sick. Yeah, I don't I don't even mind those. See? <laughs> that's oh, a yeah. that's a you know the mm -hmm. animals. Raccoons and No 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 no, you see there. This is uh, no, this is the leather jacket. Leather oh. jacket. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, Granville, yeah, Granville's nice, yeah. I have Todoro's consent to do a short video, and he's going to tell you about how he became involved with actually bringing bees onto his property. How did you get started in bringing bees? Oh, it is uh, a little bit of history. 
Mm -hmm. When I just retired, I had to find a new hobby. To fill my time and uh, to enjoy it. I started with the bees, I started with one hive first. And learning, reading. All the winter you have nothing to do, reading books. So then the next year I had two hives, but uh, I lost them in the winter. So in the third year I start again with a new colony. What year did you start? Ah, something like six years ago. With a new colony and uh, then I grow it to three colonies and then uh, the heavy ice storm came and they all was gone. Yes, I remember that well. And I started again from one colony and that year I had two colonies which uh, uh, was successfully transferred to the next year and uh, that was uh, a year uh, 2016 I had uh, three colonies and this year I catch one more swarm so I have them four mm. and uh, I enjoy it and I suggest everyone to try it and to enjoy it it is a nice hobby and uh, it works not only in fulfilling your time but uh, it works a little bit in, on your brain too looking how this uh, small uh, flies are working and creating it is uh, something to learn from them too organization is very important and uh, if we can organize our life like their lives, oh wow, uh, it is going to be beautiful. <laughs>
gain a swarm? How does that happen? Listen, the swarm, you cannot predict, you can't predict it. The prediction is that uh, the behavior of the, the beast changes just the day before the swarming. The swarming happens when the new queen is created. Mm -hmm. The new queen, at the time it is created, the old one takes part of the beast and leaves the hive. Mm -hmm. So if you control it, you can catch them. Normally when they fly away, they fly on the nearest tree and they just attach to the branches and you see them a big amount of uh, bees staying at one place. At that time, bees are not biting. They are just preventing the queen. So they're pr protecting ways. the queen. Yeah. yeah. But there are different ways, but the, the easiest way is cut the branch and you have them like that. <laughs> I can't imagine doing that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the other way is uh, that uh, normally they, if you don't catch them, they fly away. <laughs> and uh, if you don't predict it, you don't know when it is going to happen. Yeah. 